All right, what's up guys? So now we're going to be dealing with the uh, with the weighted average cost, the capital, or um, as some people like to call it in finance, the WAC. Uh, you may hear your professor uh, referring to it uh, as the WAC. So this uh, this concept is not too bad. It's not too uh, it's not too challenging. There's a lot going on. It's a process, but once you get the process down, um, solving the uh, the questions becomes pretty automatic. Now, two things that you have to uh, review for uh, for this chapter is uh, how to solve um, how to value stocks and how to value bonds. So you may want to go and review that before starting this chapter because you're going to have to know how to do that uh, in order to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. So to start this uh, to start this overview off, let's start off with a um, with a little scenario. So let's say you want to start a company. All right. And um, when you want to start a company, you need money. So what you'll do is you'll go out into the market and you'll go get some debt, right? Or some bonds. You'll issue some bonds. So you'll get a bunch of debt. And then you'll go into the market and you'll issue some stock. Or some equity and you'll take this money that you uh, that you raise and you'll go and you'll buy some assets right so you'll buy some assets and then hopefully these assets are making you some income now when you go, when you went to the market and you got this money from others, uh, the money obviously isn't going to be free. You're going to have to pay these guys some kind of return. So let's say for the debt, you're going to pay these guys a return on debt. We'll call it uh, RD. All right. And these guys, you're going to pay them a return on equity. So the money, again, it's not going to be free. You're going to have to pay these guys some kind of percentage for the money that you borrowed. So all the weighted average cost of capital is, is they want to know on average, how much does money cost you, right? How much, what kind of rate do you have to pay to these guys that you got money from? And what they do is they average out all of these rates here. So notice here how um, how this all of this here is a balance sheet, right? You got your assets on the left side, you got your debt or your liabilities here, and then you got your equity here. So the um, let's make some equations here. So the value, let's denote this by V, of your company is equal to the value of all your assets right here, which is equal to your debt plus your equity, right? So let's get rid of the A here. So basically the value of your company is equal to the debt plus the equity. The value of your assets is the debt plus the equity. So let's, um, let's, let's make, let's figure out some proportions here. So how much of the value of your company is of debt. What's the percentage of debt that you have? Well, that's just equal to D over V, right? The percentage of equity that your company is made of is equal to E over V. And remember what our goal is. Our goal is to get a weighted average of how much capital is costing us. So if we have a percentage of debt as D over V, well, the, we could just average out these rates by a weighted average. So we can do RD here, D over V times RD plus E over V, which is the percentage of equity times RE. And that will give us on average, a weighted average of how much money we have to pay to, um, to our debt holders and our uh, equity holders. 
So this here is your weighted average cost of capital formula. Now, the, the debt, the return on debt that you pay to these guys, that's tax deductible for a company. So we add a one minus T here. And that's pretty much what the whole uh, chapter is based on. It's based on this formula here. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to go into more detail in the next couple of videos of how to solve D, how to solve V, R, D, E, V, and R, E. Uh, a couple of things I want to note before uh, moving on. Now, remember that D and E here, they are market values. They're market values, not book values. All right, this is very important because some profs uh, and in the textbook you'll see sometimes they'll give you both market values of debt and the book values of the debt and the equity. And uh, you have to ignore the book values. This, uh, this equation here, this, uh, this WAC formula is based on market values only. So be careful of those tricks. Uh, another thing I want to note uh, is that this equity portion this is this equity represents common shares but sometimes you could also have preferred shares and if you have preferred shares all you would do so if you have preferred then um, all you would do is you would add plus how much uh, preferred shares you have over v times your return on preferred and that would just go here into this formula. So go through the next videos because we're gonna be going into depth on how to solve these separate pieces, this D, V, R, D, E, V, R, E, P, R, P, uh, in a little more detail.